Local 15 today. Glad to have Mayor Sam Jones here as we work our way toward Election Day on Tuesday. Yep, thanks so much for waking up so early sure. to join us. <laughs> um, I've got a question for you on what you think your biggest accomplishment in your last seven years was that makes you qualified to be elected to another term. I think the biggest accomplishment is what we've done with our economic development area. Uh, attracting in the industry and the jobs here, um, the, you know, it will wound up being over that period about 16,000 jobs have been attracted to Mobile, as well as the spinoff from those jobs. So I would say that particular area, as well as an accountability program that didn't exist at, at the city, that's uh, our City Smarts program that really examined all of our departments for efficiency, also for how we manage our finances. So I, I think that's been it. And then we have the highest bond rate we've had in the history of the city. Mm -hmm. And along those lines, we're seeing the Airbus video now. Of course, Airbus coming in. Uh, we've talked about all the uh, ancillary businesses that need to come in along with Airbus. In, in addition to attracting those businesses, once those businesses come in, once those people come in, how do you improve everyone's quality of life? Because there, there is a lot of pressure now because we've got a tremendous opportunity to make this city even bigger and better. I think that economic development ventures that are coming in really have a lot to do with us expanding our quality of life and also doing a lot of things in that area. What it actually does is it brings revenue that we really don't have now mm -hmm. to do a lot of those things. Also, it brings in, if you notice, all the grocery store chains that are coming in, the shopping centers that right. are coming in. All of that contributes to us being able to do a lot of other things in our city. So, so specifically, with that extra money, with that extra revenue, what do you see happening? Oh, I, first of all, I think what we have, we got some infrastructure issues we want to address. Uh, downtown redevelopment is certainly one of them. Uh, some of the others, some of our recreational facilities. I think you will see other venues come to Mobile. We'll be opening the Maritime Museum, but aside from the Maritime Museum, there are other areas we'd like to develop in our city. So we will also have some magnets for tourism. So those are a lot of things that we really want to do, as well as really we are planning bike trails, we are, we are planning walking trails, parks, all of those things are part of improving the quality of life in the city. And talking a little bit about quality of life in Mobile, you've got a lot of folks saying, well, Baldwin County is really stepping up to try and be the bedroom community for folks coming in for Airbus. They want to they wanna buy houses there. They want to raise their rent there. Is the city doing anything to attract those people to maybe stay right here in the city limits, keep your houses and your property tax here? Well, I think you've seen outside investors come in and buy a number of our apartment complexes, looking to the future to renovate them. Also, condos will be built. But, you know, you're right, Baldwin County is the bedroom community, but the economic hub of the region is the city of Mobile, and I think everybody knows that. And we talked about the ancillary businesses along with Airbus. Are you pleased with the progress of getting those type of businesses in? Oh, sure. You know, we, we have uh, two in now. We are talking to two others, and I think as you see Airbus progress, um, we have the, the really the capability and really the opportunity to land probably 16 to 18 new businesses in Mobile. I think when it's all said and done, Airbus will hire 1,000 people. Those businesses should, should hire 3,000 more. So uh, I think you're going to see, just like what happened with Austin. Austin came mm -hmm. in with 238 employees. They have 4,000 now. So uh, we'll see that kind of turnaround with Airbus, and as that happens, you'll see other developments coming as a, re as a result of the growth we're having in the community. I write about, what is it, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days up until the election. The race has been a dead heat so far. Recent polls have shown I don't you're know still. About that. still <laughs> that. Tell us how you feel. How are you feeling? Well, it, into the it, election? you know, it depends on who runs the poll, what the poll is based on, who they talk to. But, uh, you know, we feel good uh, about the race. We feel real good about it. And in the last 30 seconds or so, uh, here's your forum to tell the voters why you think you should stay in office. Well, one thing is, I think where we've gone, we are certainly going in the right direction. I think everyone nationally really realize that, uh, people locally realize that. We are in a position that we haven't been since I've been in this city, and I've been in this city a long time. All right, well, Mayor, we appreciate the time, and uh, again, look forward to Election Day on Tuesday. Uh, Sandy Stimson, by the way, will join us at the same time here tomorrow morning on Local 15 Today. Once again, thanks for the time.